right, I'm a little dark in here. We are back in Harajuku, masked up. You know how it is sitting here with a state of emergency, but everybody's still out, which is kind of cool. Anyway, we are headed into the back streets into the Urahara, where the FR2 gallery is. And I'm probably just gonna wait for the homies there. Got the homie there, so we're gonna see what he's all about. But it's looking kind of, it's looking kind of frisky out in, in Harajuku today, which is cool. Um, hasn't lost its life but I see something ahead that I need to go see so I will see you guys in a second We are here at the Stock X FR2 collaboration. So again, I told you I was gonna give you an intro into what FR2 is. It is a brand that was started by a gentleman by the name of Ryo Ishikawa back in, I think it was 2014, and the first store, which is actually right in front of me, uh, opened in 2016. Since that time, it has become incredibly popular both in Japan and beyond, particularly in the Southeast Asian area. Really, really popular. Now, you may not know Ryo Ishikawa from FR2, but he's the same dude who started the brand Vanquish, which is a quite popular brand uh, that started, I believe, in the year 2000. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it was close to then. And FR2, Vanquish, Denim Bai, Legenda, they're all a part of this one big company but one of the cool things about this is that it's in the middle of a state of emergency and there are still people out here getting some of this stuff and you actually see some of the exclusive apparel that stock x and fr2 are putting together keep in mind that fr2 is really a kind of like a back to basic street wear brand a lot of prints a lot of graphics a lot you know they became famous over the smoke and kills tea which is big time i mean everybody wants that tea it's actually really hard to get it's basically their box logo if you like street if you like graphics especially typography and stuff like that you're definitely gonna hit up fr2 there are actually three stores in this area you have fr2 ume which is for the ladies that's actually right behind me and then you have fr2 the main store which is actually right up the street and then we're right in front of the fr2 gallery and there's much much more to be had when it comes to fr2 so a lot of collaborations a lot of stuff that you might like. I think they did, they actually do spoofs on like parody stuff as well, like bootleg stuff as well, which is actually pretty cool. So check it out and see some more of these sites and give it up for StockX for letting your boy chill around here with their peoples. So that, there you got the breakdown. So uh, let's get to it. I'm about to take a step inside of this place real quick, see what it's all about. If we're having fun, what's up? <laughs> all right, so this is this. All this music is going on, but this is the pop-up itself. You got a whole bunch of other stuff going on. You got the product over here. It's actually really cool how they set up this little small spot to be as, you know, bright as possible. But the cool thing about it is they got this big screen on the back. That screen is going to show you all kinds of stuff from StockX. But, you know, you see the product with the FR2. StockX print. That's, that's for some people, not for some others. We got the FR2. Yeah. 
So that right there. And of course, you got the floor going on. All types of displays. Of course, I gotta wear a mask in here. And there's music blasting. So let's go ahead and step outside. But of course, gotta have that FR2 bench. FR2 bench in the building. And then we got employees everywhere. Right here, this is the photo op right here. You gotta have the no sexual services in the back, which is all G, right? So all of this is a part of, really it's just an example of how collaborations work in Japan. This gives a little bit of exposure to StockX, hitting it up with a brand like FR2, which is quite popular. Uh, one of the things that was told to me is that StockX in Japan really hasn't had a chance to have, you know, just a space that was, you know, for their opening in Japan because right after they came to Japan, about a year and a half later, uh, after they started setting up, the pandemic happened. So this is an activation, one of the first activations that they have with a brand that's in Japan that seemingly was quite popular. People are going in, people are checking out the stuff. Uh, the two brands together really works. So, and of course, there's that thing where it won't be available anywhere else. The other cool thing about it is that what StockX is trying to do is, like, at least StockX Japan, trying to be like that global international hub for East, like, you know, connecting the East and the West, kind of like what the casual does with fashion content. Trying to be the bridge, trying to bridge that gap between East and West. So even though there's stuff that's releasing here, eventually you should be able to get the stuff that releases here via StockX out in the West because of just the integration with it. This is gonna be really cool. That's that's a really cool thing. I, I think that that's cool because it gives you guys access. Check this off right here, real quick. It gives you guys access to stuff that releases here, right? And that's really what the game, that's what, what the end goal is. That's what the end game is, is to get stuff from Japan out in the West. So look for StockX to really, really punch down, punch in, or really, really hit it on trying to get Japanese goods to the West, especially when it comes to brands, sneakers, and collaborations. So look forward to that. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this. And uh, of course... You know what it is. Keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion culture and business from Tokyo. It's your boy. And keep it casual. I got a mask in my hand. Can't do that effectively. You know what it is. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. I'll see you guys in a minute.